Hello everyone, this is Sparks, and welcome to episode 5 of Lectures in Lab Coats. I will be your lovely lab-coated Let's Playing lecturer for today. In this video, we're looking at the different concentrations of ores at different y-coordinates from levels 1 to 70, and this could help you choose the right level for your shaft mine. I'm going to explain what I'm doing on screen now, but if you want to skip ahead to the results, you can click on the annotation in the top left, or go to the video time I've put in the top right of the screen. I'll be suggesting the best height for shaft mine to get the maximum ores, including, of course, diamonds. Right now, you can see a very sped up and cut video of me using MC edits to list all the ores on each Y coordinate in Minecraft, starting at bedrock level and working my way up to Y70. I've selected a 400 by 400 block wide area, um, with a vast majority of it being extreme hills, with a few small patches of river biome. That's 160,000 blocks for each level. Uh, I've chosen extreme hills for the biome in this study because it has two things other biomes don't, emeralds and hidden silverfish blocks. Using MC Edit, I've selected a 400 by 400 by one block high area, and I'm using the Analyze feature to list all the blocks and entities in the, in the selected region, then nudging it up by one and doing it all again. Uh, I'm then putting the values for each level into a spreadsheet for comparison at the end. I'm only going to be displaying the valuable ores in the upcoming graph, but I'll be including the raw spreadsheet in the video description, where curious people may browse through if they wish. There's lots of other data there, I'm sure. I was hoping the captured video footage of me doing this would be interesting to watch, but it isn't, so let's move right on to the all-important results. And voila. Two or three hours of work crushed down into less than two minutes of footage. <laughs> I hope you can all see the graph on screen clearly. This video should be up in 1080p, but you can also download the graph from the video description to take a closer look. The vertical y-axis on this graph shows how many blocks of this type donated by the line were found in that layer, while the horizontal x along the bottom shows the height in Minecraft. If the height says 20, for example, that means that's the block layer you will be standing on to make your y say 20 in your F3 screen. So, on to the diamonds and where to put your shaft mine to get them, which I'll address first because a lot of people are probably here to find that out. So according to my results, the highest concentration of diamonds is at Y8, at 201 diamond blocks out of 160,000 other blocks. The diamond level to either side of this uh, height decreases but remains quite high, so the way to catch the most diamonds would be to dig a 3 high shaft with your Y at 6. This is one level above that where bedrock starts uh, appearing and allows you to expose the 5 highest yielding levels for diamond. As my idealised image of a smiling, diamond-rich miner indicates, your shaft mine should look something like this. The number of diamonds per 160,000 blocks are displayed in blue, while the Y coordinate is displayed in white. You can see that the highest concentration is centred at eye level with this layout. The only problem with digging a shaft mine at Y6 is that you're digging below the surface of lava pools, which may make mining a little more difficult. I would advise taking at least a bucket of water with you if not a fire-resistant potion. So, now that the diamond-hungry miners have left to live a life of easy luxury and riches, there are a few other observations I'd like to share with you if you're interested. Um, some of you may know that Y63 is sea level in Minecraft, so I'm not surprised to see a decrease in ores at this point. In extreme hills, the land rises above that, um, still in a lot of areas, uh, so applying the data above that level to other biomes isn't really useful. Um, it's interesting to note, though, that uh, coal can still be found above that point, while iron stops as do silverfish blocks. Uh, I was originally only going to record values up to Y63, but decided to go to 70 when I realised that the silverfish blocks stopped. Below Y63, silverfish blocks make up about 290 blocks per level on average, or about 0.18% of total blocks, and stay pretty steady at that level. Something else that struck me as interesting is that diamond and redstone have the same cutoff point where they stop appearing, which means that redstone, by far the more common of the two ores, is a good indicator that diamond can be found nearby. Cutoff points for ores are useful to know, so I'll list those two. So diamond and redstone, as I said, uh, stop at 16, lapis at 30, gold and emeralds at 32, and iron at 64. Uh, gravel makes up a depressingly high 2.3% of all blocks on average per level, and stays just as frequent and bloody annoying at every height. I don't know about you, but I hate gravel when I'm shaft mining. It seems that mining anywhere at 16 or lower will give you the full spectrum of ores available, so that's a good place to go. As I've already explained, the best levels for diamond uh, is Y6, and uh, you've got a pretty high concentration of everything else at that level as well. As far as I know, emeralds and silverfish blocks spawned in Extreme Hills biome replace stone rather than taking up the space that could have held ores, so these results should hold true for other biomes as well, though I'm not certain. If someone could confirm that in the comments, that'd be awesome. Well, 
That's it for this episode. This is a series, so if you want to see some of the other experiments I've done, you can go to the previous video at the end. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was Sparks. Uh, goodbye.